Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is your guide to the Snaw's pet battle on Argus. I'm going to start with a quick strategy to just beat him for your world quest, and then I'll show you strategies for every single pet family for progress on the family fighter achievement. Snaw's lives here on Macaree. Now this is the most RNG thing that I have had to do in my life, so if you're after Family Fighter, bring a big stack of pet bandages and get ready to be here for a while. After the first one, any one of these strategies may take multiple tries. First up, the dependable strategy for doing your world quest. This will also double as the flying strat. In my first slot is a sharp talon falcosaur with falcosaur swarm, rip, and predatory strike. In the second slot, grab any bat with bite, screech, and more health than icky, and finally, icky with black claw and flock. Start with the sharp talon and use falcosaur swarm. He pulls in your bat. Use screech, and then bite twice. He void portals in icky. Use black claw, and then flock to finish the fight. If something goes horribly wrong in icky or the bat dies around early, you still have the falcosaur to predatory strike. Next, aquatic. I am using three civet or mongoose family pets, each a speed balance breed with 289 speed exactly and set up with gnaw and screech. This takes not just average but actively good RNG to win, so buckle up and get ready to run this a handful of times. And, and I have large hands. Start with any of them and get void portaled out. Use screech and then gnaw three times. Repeat. Just refresh the screech debuff when it's got one round left, spam gnaw, and pray for him to hit you once instead of twice with flank. Also, some crits in your favor wouldn't hurt. If you're really lucky, you might make it work with different breeds of civet, but I feel like it is fully worth it to go back out to Pandaria to find the speed balance ones. That's what I did. Next is critters. In your first slot, any critter with bite and over 282 speed. I have a Malayan quill rat. Second slot, a rat pet with over 282 speed with poison fang and stampede. Today, I've got my wharf rat. Third, a dark moon hatchling with trample, screech, and flock. I'll start with the quill rat, pass the turn, and it gets void portaled out for the wharf rat. Use poison fang, then stampede. He portals in your dark moon hatchling. Use trample, then screech, and then flock. He swaps in your bite pet. Spam bite to victory, and if it comes to it, you've got two backups to sneeze on him with. Next, elemental. In the first slot is a health speed breed tiny twister with slicing wind, flyby, and call lightning. The HH breed will not work, I have super tried. In second, take a crazy carrot with jab and blistering cold. Third, we have an ominous flame with spirit firebolt, scorched earth, and foreboding curse. Start with the twister and get swapped out to the carrot. Use jab, then blistering cold. Pass the round and get swapped for the ominous flame. Use scorched earth, then foreboding curse, and then you swap to your carrot. He eats the void portal and dies, which brings in your twister. Use call lightning, then flyby. If you live another round, go for slicing wind. If not, spirit firebolt on the flame should finish things. Those blistering cold stacks take ages to resolve, but at least it gets the job done. Next, humanoid. In my first slot is hogs with bite, stampede, and headbutt. Second is Squirky with Stampede and Bubble, while third is a Sister of Temptation with Agony, Curse of Doom, and Haunting Song. Start with Hogs, pass, and get swapped to the Sister of Temptation. Use Curse of Doom, and then Haunting Song. He void portals and brings in your Squirky. Use Stampede, which should apply that Shattered Defenses debuff in time for Curse of Doom to go off. After a bit of Stampeding, he swaps in your Hogs. Use Headbutt, then Bite. Pass the round, and he swaps in your Sister. Use Curse of Doom again, then Agony, then he'll bring in your Squirky. Use Bubble, then Stampede. This cuts it kind of close, but it does get the job done assuming that you don't have really awful luck. Next is Mechanical, and this one's kind of fun. The first slot is Lil Bling with Inflation and Make It Rain. Second is a de-weaponized Mechanical Companion with Thrash and Overtune. Third, take your Cogblade Raptor with Screech and Exposed Wounds. Start with Bling and get swapped to the Bunny. Use Overtune, and then Thrash twice. He brings in your Cogblade Raptor. Use Screech, then Exposed Wounds, then Screech again. He looks kinda topped up, but it's all good. He's brought in Bling, so use Make It Rain, then Inflation. When Bling crumbles for the final time, bring back the bunny and use Thrash. Game over. Next, Beast. First is a Cheetah Cub with Bite and Screech, and the second two slots are my Zandalari Ankle Render and Knee Biter, both with Black Claw and Hunting Party. One of my raptors was the Power Balance Breed, which was really effective here. At least one of those two raptors should have more than 282 speed. Start with the cheetah and use Screech. He swaps in that Power Balance Raptor. Use Black Claw, then Hunting Party. 
He void portals again and brings in my other raptor. One more hunting party sorts it out. Next, Dragonkin. To call this RNG heavy would be a massive understatement, so gird your loins or something. First slot is a nether fairy dragon with life exchange. Second, my nightmare whelp with call darkness and nightmare. Third, I brought Chrominius with bite, howl, and surge of power. Start with the fairy, pass the turn, and get swapped to the Chrominius. Swap back to the fairy dragon and use life exchange. If he hits you three times and kills your fairy dragon, start over. After the life exchange, pass the turn and get swapped back to the Chrominius. Use Bite, then Howl, and then swap back to the Fairy Dragon. She eats the Void Portal and dies for reals this time. Bring in the Nightmare Whelp. Use Call Darkness, then Nightmare. If you get flanked to death before you've used Nightmare, start over. Assuming that you did both, he Void Portals and brings back Chrominius, who should have, at worst, about 800 health. Your job is to Howl and then Surge of Power while crossing all of your fingers that he does not triple flank you to death. On top of all of the existing RNG, the Call Darkness means that in the second half of this fight you could miss or he could miss so this whole thing is just a big slot machine mess. Good luck. Next, Magic. In my first slot is a Minfernal or Nether Space Abyssal with Explode. The more health on that thing, the better. The second slot is a Sapphire Cub with Pounce, and third I'm using a Nightmare Bell with Call Darkness and Curse of Doom. Start with the Infernal and pass the round. He brings in your Bell. Use Curse of Doom, then Call Darkness. He swaps in your Cub. Use Pounce three times, and then he swaps in your Infernal. Use Explode, then bring back the Sapphire Cub and spam Pounce to finish the fight. Last, Undead. My first slot is a Blighted Squirrel with Stampede, second is an Unborn Valkyr with Curse of Doom and Unholy Ascension, and third is Scraps with Super Bark and Claw. Start with the Squirrel, pass, and he swaps in your Valkyr. Use Curse of Doom, then Unholy Ascension. Bring out Scraps, pass the round, and he void portals in your Squirrel. Use Stampede. He might kill you first, but you get an undead cheat round, so you get at least one full turn of stampeding zombie squirrels. After the squirrel dies, use Super Bark, then Bite. Winning on your undead immunity round still counts as winning. So that's Family Fighter Snaz. The best thing about him is that he lives out of the way so that you're not likely to stumble across him and trigger bad pet battle flashbacks. Subscribe for the rest of the Family Fighter guides and other super cool WoW videos. Let me know what you think, share your own strategies in the comments if you like, and have a wonderful, wonderful day! Bye!